Welcome to the SERS database. Now this tutorial will walk you through this database, which is a database that specializes in controversial issues focusing on the most current ones. So when you sign in to this database, the very first thing you will see on this page is the trending pro con leading issues. Like right now, the most popular current um, leading issue is the elections for 2016. Um, but we also have the other top nine trending issues right now as well. Concealed weapons, homelessness, police and body cameras, refugees, international trade, concussion sports, gender identity, ISIS, and Zika. So these are the most popular current issues right now on this database. So if you are looking for a current issue or current event to kind of create an argument about for a paper or a presentation, you could simply choose from one of these. Um, for example, Zika is pretty popular right now. Let's say that you were going to write an argumentative paper dealing with Zika. Simply click on the picture, and it's going to take you to this question. Here is your essential question. Should pregnancy be postponed in areas where Zika is present? Now, right below that question, it gives you a brief background um, summary of what is going on with this issue. So before you actually choose a stance, you actually have some information about it. Then it presents both viewpoints on this question. Viewpoint one, postponing pregnancy is the safest option since we do not know the long-term effects of the birth defects caused by the Zika virus. So if you agreed with viewpoint one, there are links to three research articles right here that support this side of the argument. So right now you immediately have three resources available. However, if you disagree with this, you can come over to viewpoint two. Preventing pregnancy is to avoid Zika is not that simple since many women do not have access to birth control. Once again, if this is the side of the argument you want to be on, here are three articles that support this side of the argument. So let's say that you were interested in choosing viewpoint number two. Let's say I want to see the second article. If you click on the article, the article will load. It tells you it is a newspaper. The Lexile measure is 1330. So you get an idea of how hard it is to read. You can actually see your article down here below. So you can scroll down, get all that information. Now down here at the very bottom, there is a little summary. So if you don't want to take the time to actually read that whole article, come down here to the summary, see if that's actually going to help you write your paper or not, and then decide if you actually want to print it off or save it. Also down here at the bottom, you will see citations. Right here is your MLA citation. So you can copy and paste it to um, a Google Doc or a Word document and save it. So now if you want to use this article, you already have one research article and one citation. It's going to save you a lot of work in the long run. Now let's say, I'm going to go back. Let's say that maybe you're looking for more research than the ones that are presented up here. If you scroll down, it does give you some more options about um, topics or more options for topics about the Zika virus. So you can kind of see the title of the article, it tells you where it came from, it gives you its Lexile measure, and it gives you a summary. So once again, if it's an article you want, just click on the title, it will take you to that article. Okay, and over here you can see some options for when you find an article. You can save it to Google, so you don't actually have to print it out. You can just save it to your Google Docs account or your Google Drive account. You can print it, you can email it, you can cite it. If you need that citation, it is at the bottom, of course, but you can go here to get it. Something else you can do when you're looking at your results, right here you can actually sort your results um, by date, revel, uh, relevance, Lexile measure, um, so you can have all of these results organized Lexile measure to low to high, so the easiest articles would be first. Or you can organize it high to low, so the hardest articles will be first. You can also do by source type. So if you only want newspapers, you only want magazines, you only want primary sources, you can click on that. And then, of course, you will only get that type of result. So you're actually making sure you get the best quality research that you can get. Okay. Now, let's say that you wanted to write a paper that is not about one of these top 10 issues. If you scroll down, right here in this box, you can actually see a list of hundreds of controversial issues that this website has questions for, essential questions for, and has two different viewpoints for with articles. So let's say, oh, here's a new one, eating disorders. Once again, here it is. Does society's promotion of a thin body as the ideal female form contribute to eating disorders? 
Once again, we have viewpoint one with three articles, viewpoint two with three articles. Now, if you're really not sure what you're looking for and you don't really have the time to go through this whole list to pick something, over here you can actually kind of browse by category. So let's say that I want to do something with school, family, and youth. Well, now it's going to give me all of the options in this box that fall under this category in one form or another. So adoption, here's all the arguments they have for adoption. Alternative education, homeschooling, charter schools, so on. Domestic violence, abused women, child abuse, education policy, uh, character education, college education, so on. So it kind of helps you at least get in the right area of what you need to choose a topic for your research paper. So hopefully that this has been helpful to you to get you started in finding good quality research, um, looking for things that are going to actually help you create a good argument. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to find me in the library.